I am very glad to have here with us today Rujuta Soman, one of the leading exponents of Kathak in India. She is immensely popular and has been the disciple of Dr. Rohini Bhatte since the last 15 years. Rujuta holds a master's degree in Kathak from Pune University and has performed extensively in India as well as abroad. She is the recipient of the title Singar Mani by the Sur Singar Sansad. A warm welcome to you, Rujuta. We are very happy to have you here with us today. Thank you. You started learning Kathak very early. Yes. What do you think is the right age for children or girls to begin learning the dance form? Yeah, actually, I started learning Kathak at the age of five. But though I have started at an early age, ideally, I think they should take uh, take it as a classes at the age of seven. And a okay. uh, few months back, actually, I started uh, teaching the students, the kids, um, having age five and a half and six. Right. Uh, some of them are grasping very well. Right. They're doing well. Right. But uh, some, are, some are not responding as to well. it as well. Okay. Um, but uh, there is one point that we shouldn't compel them to do that certain activity. At a we particular should, yeah, age. If, if, if the kid is not responding to us, right. we should um, just wait till become seven. So right. ideal age, I think, is the seven. Seven years, yeah. you think, is the ideal age for them? It depends upon uh, yeah, uh, how the kid is responding. So you think seven is an appropriate age to l start learning Structure. the dance form. Yes. How Absolutely. important do you think is the parents' support, Rujita? Of course, the parents' support is very important because if the parents have um, interest in a particular art form, right. then only they will be able to encourage their child, child. to uh, do that certain activity. Right. And uh, we should also uh, take into consideration the child's inclination. Absolutely. For example, uh, we shouldn't Again, we shouldn't trust on them to do that activity. Right. So I would definitely like to ask you, why have you chosen a classical dance form mm -hmm. over a Western dance form? Any special reason behind this? Actually, as I told you, I started learning at the age of five. Right. And at this age, we really don't know what to do and what not to do. Right. Just my mother was fond of uh, the classical Kathak dance. Right. So as parents uh, admits as in uh, schools. So as like that only she admitted me into the dance institution and I started learning. Okay. And um, as I started learning it more and more, the interest developed in within okay. me So you took much. a keen interest in that yeah, dance. Yeah, I started learning it very thoroughly and deeply. And um, the, do you think at that time the western uh, was not so much popular right nowadays it has become very popular and even the bollywood dance too right and uh, basically um, i am groomed uh, from the childhood as a classical dancer but uh, it is not like that i don't like uh, western dance but uh, okay. these two dance forms are uh, culturally very different absolutely and um, the Conceptually, I like classical dance more, and, dance uh, whereas form. the Western um, rhythm concept is linear. Okay. It goes on and on. It yeah, doesn't on have a beat. broader end or totality, okay. a total end. So uh, that is the difference. And uh, I would li also like to say that uh, I have learned Western a little, okay. but I really don't feel comfortable uh, in performing Western. As much classical. as the Indian form. Yeah. And uh, I like to watch pure form of Western dance. Okay. And um, even I would, I like to collaborate with Western dance because the combination of both becomes very interesting. Right. Actually. I'm sure. I yeah. can imagine and how. And of uh, course, if it is done properly. You are able to blend them well. You're able yeah. to culturally blend the yes. dance forms yes. well. That definitely requires a lot of experience in the art of form. Of course. There are two distinct schools of dance in India yes. from the North and South respectively, yes. Bharatnatyam and, and Kathak. Kathak yes. What uh, is the principal difference between the two dance forms? Actually, it is a very huge subject, but I tell you in short, okay. Bharatnatyam comes from the southern part of the India and Kathak comes from the northern, northern side part. of India. Okay. And the basic 
डिफरेंस इज इन इट्स पॉस्चर इन भरतनाट्यम यू कैन सी द पॉस्चर दे बेंट देर नीज देर एंड इन अ पर्टिकुलर एंगल एंड दे कॉल इट चौक एंड वेर इज इन कथक देर इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड यू कैन सी वेरी ब्यूटिफुल बेंड्स एंड कर्व्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ दैट लाइन ओके एंड देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन लैंग्वेजेस टू ओके इन भरतनाट्यम यू कैन सी द लैंग्वेज तमिल और तेलुगू साउथ इंडिया एंड इन कथक यू विल सी द लैंग्वेज हिंदी और ब्रज ओके कॉमन लैंग्वेज इज यूज इज संस्कृत सो इट हैज अ वेरी एंशंट ओरिजिन बोथ द डांस फॉर्म्स एंड ऑल्सो द भरतनाट्यम इज बेस्ड ऑन द कर्नाटक म्यूजिक ओके एंड दिस कथक इज बेस्ड ऑन नॉर्थ इंडियन वोकल नॉर्थ इंडियन म्यूजिक रिदम कंसेप्ट ओके एंड दो देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन देर डांस स्टाइल्स एंड फॉर्म्स देर इज एंड दे आर ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द नाट्य शास्त्र बाय भरत मुनि ओके एंड आई वुड लाइक to mention one important thing about the kathak dance style absolutely um it has an impact of um, many uh, traditions on uh, that particular style kathak okay any other dance style does not does imbibe not so many yeah so many okay the kathak is only one it has a tradition of storytellers it has originated from the storytellers Okay. Basically, Kathak. Um, the word comes from the storyteller, the one who narrates the story is called storyteller. Right. So, and also it has got the tradition of Rasa Nartan devoted to Lord Krishna. Okay. And uh, in Mughal period, um, Kathak went into the um, king's court, and uh, there to please the kings. Okay. Um, there were a uh, healthy competition amongst those dancers right so there the technique of the kathak developed all right so it so, has yeah. quite a history behind it yeah. is it in the indian film industry rujuta mm. we have mm. seen madhuri dikshit who is a very mm. well known kathak dancer also mm. we've seen shri devi and karmal hasan who mm. are well known bharatnatyam dancers mm. Mm. do you think uh, being knowledgeable and being mm. able to dance well as an art form mm. helps them in the industry yes they have a different personality right. they are highlighted differently right and actually what uh, dance form we um, see in a, or we watch in films it's is not actually a pure form absolutely and it's very obvious because um, they have to change it according to the concept and requirement of the film but really dance if you learn dance it really helps you to act in films and you get a different grace in your general movements right. and elegance so it's really very beneficial to have a strong base of classical dance and even uh, if you not take it as a career um it will benefit you to develop your personality too absolutely because it helps to improves your posture and it gives a, a different grace to your general movements and i really tell you even if you don't take it as a career right it helps you to improve your personality like uh, you can improve your coordination of mind and body you okay. improve your posture right. and you get a general grace in your movements and overall yes. fitness absolutely so, i'm sure that is very important yes. the right coordination and yes. balance of body yes. and mind yes. I am so happy to meet with you today Rujuta. Thank you for being here. Thank you I'm very sure much. I'm sure all the young viewers listening to our conversation would have benefited from this valuable advice. Thank you.